Hello YouTube, Zmanzilla here, and I wanted to talk about something I discovered in Psychotron, the wonderful map by JR Crash. Now, uh, as y'all know, it just hit Community Spotlight, and again, a huge congratulations for that JR Crash, because it is well deserved. Um, but I was, uh, I was playing it last night, and I discovered some things, because I was trying to, you know, kind of keep my presence on the... Uh, on the leaderboard kind of high up because I really like being high up on the leaderboards and things like that um, And I managed to hit number three on there and uh, you know But I discovered some scoring techniques that I really wanted to share with people uh, First of all like I, at first I was like, oh, this is kind of a cheese hole and you know It's a it's a problem and then the more I thought about it. I went. No, it's actually brilliant It's probably one of the most brilliant ideas for a, uh, a, a not only just sort of a, a scoring opportunity, but a great risk reward system. Okay, so it kind of works like this: when you go to fight Psychotron, uh, you have the opportunity to pick up a BFG, uh, as you can see here in the video, and then you go over to Psychotron's realm and you fight him. Now, uh, during the fight, you'll notice that no matter what you hit him with. Uh, he only takes 1% damage from it. So you could hit him with the BFG, you could hit him with, uh, you know, the, the, the shotgun, whatever. Whatever you connect to his heart with is going to take 1% damage. Now, the other thing I noticed is that if you use the BFG on the crowd, if you listen really closely, you can hear the Psychotron getting hurt sound. And, you know, that sort of, you know, like, and um, so if you hit the group with the BFG, that's also doing 1% damage to Psychotron. <clears throat> as long as you're, you're hitting them sort of, you know, hitting the group sort of in the center, uh, it's doing that 1% damage. Um, the other thing is that the mobs are sort of, uh, since they're all sort of launching out at you, most of the time they're congregating in the middle. Not always, there's a couple off to the side, but most of the time they're congregating in the middle. So here's where the brilliance of it comes in, okay? Imagine you have gone through the entirety of Psychotron. Now, as you may know, by the way, from playing it, uh, in Psychotron, if you die, your score resets to zero, ever. If you, if you die for any reason, your score resets to zero. So if you manage to get to Psychotron without dying, you've got pretty much the, you know, the, the maximum amount of points you can get at that point. And then you get to Psychotron and you have this open-ended opportunity to get even more points. But the thing is, if you die, all of that work is just down the toilet. So here's the key here. So you get Psychotron down to about 10% health is a good place to get him. Some place where, you know, he's still manageable and if you need to sort of, you know, get out of the situation, things are getting too hot, you can always sort of, you know, just pop him a couple times and get the heck out of there and end your run. So that gives you a little bit of the control. But at 10% health is when he's is right about the time when he's kicking out his most powerful dudes. You know, it's all it's all barons and cybermanks, teams fighting crime, if you will, and they are just populating the, the field of battle there. So what you do, you get Psychotron down to 10%, you let the Barons and the Cybermanks come in like crazy, and then you, you take out something like your Missile Launcher, or you know, which for me the Missile Launcher was what works best, but really any weapon will work. And you do your very best to keep those guys in the center of the field of battle while you're just blasting at them and blasting at them. Now, every single time that you see one of them, and by this time, if you've done this without dying, uh, by this time, you should have insane speed going on. And what you do is you wait for one of them to, to, to you wait for one of them to get the glory kill effect, and then you you rush in and you glory kill that dude. Now, one thing you may notice from this this footage right here is at pretty much everybody you kill drops ammo, they drop armor, they drop health. So when you go in for that glory kill, you've got that momentary second of invulnerability, and during that time, you're collecting up a bunch of that ammo and health and, and armor and stuff. And it's, you know, that's sort of refilling your armor and your health and all that fun stuff. So uh, now if you wash, rinse, repeat that process, it, and it is dangerous because, you know, he's still got his electro lasers that can still hit you. And, you know, you still have the problem with the Cybermanks laying down the goop that can you can sort of run into and that can cause damage. And, you know, let's not even play for a second with, with, with Barons. When you got that many Barons, two or three of them doing a jump attack on you, I don't care what your health is, you're going to be mashed potatoes. So it's still pretty dangerous, you know. But if you juggle them well... You know, keep them in the center of the field of battle, and you just hit them with the rockets, wait, and just jump in and get your glory kills, get your glory kills, keep them in the center of the field of battle. That is basically an opportunity to rack up infinite points. Now, here's where the brilliance comes in. You still have to do it. You have to get to that point, which means not dying throughout the rest of the board. Okay, you have to not die during that part of the board, and you have this is very important. You have to not use your BFG.
all right and the reason why you're not using your bfg is because every time you use your bfg that's going to take a point of, that's going to take a one percent damage off of psychotron and the goal is actually to keep him alive because the longer you keep psychotron alive the more scoring opportunities you're going to have so you know to summarize to get some really good scores going on there you 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 keep psychotron alive only knock him down to about 10 percent health all right. Uh, only use your BFG to get out of tight situations because you're only going to get about 10 opportunities to do that. Now, you have effectively unlimited ammunition with the BFG, so you got nothing to worry about there. But you only, you know, you know if, you, if you work him down to about 10% health, you're only going to have about nine times that you can use your, your BFG to get out of a tight spot. And then, of course, if you do get out of that tight spot, you end up with a, there's a huge pool of like health and ammo and armor in the center of the ring, and you can go ahead and go get that. Um, but yeah, now the, the brilliance is though that you have to have the endurance to sit there and do that. You have to have the patience, you know, you got to have the skill and, you know, you have to have not died up to that point pretty much. And you're risking everything to go for this opportunity. But as long as you're willing to take that risk, you know, it's, 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 like I said, it's one of the most brilliant risk reward ideas I've ever seen. And again, I don't know if it was by design or what, but I just wanted to give that little extra shout out to JR Crash for saying, hey, you created a board that has, you know, what some might consider broken scoring, but what I think is the most brilliant form of broken scoring ever, which is there is literally no top end OK, there is no way anybody can ever have the highest score that is possible on this board because somebody else can always come along and top it. And that is infinite replay value. And that is freaking awesome. I mean, we got we got a board here that could very easily be be snap maps king of Kong. I mean, it really or, you know, it, it just it, it, it's awesome. I really I respect that. And I kind of envy it a little bit because that it's just it's just great. So. You know, if you're up for the challenge and you you know you got the you got the time, you got the patience, man, go in there and do it, and it, it you just uh, just give it a try. Once again, this has been Z Manzilla. I do hope you choose to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.